Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, I'm here to share some ideas on how you as students could use ChatGPT to help maximize yourself as a student. Let me address one thing first. If you are here to get ChatGPT to do all the work for you, this is the wrong video for you. I'm sure you can find it somewhere else. The intention of this video is to help you find ways to use ChatGPT to maximize your own potential as a student, not to get it to do the work for you. All right, so, and specifically, this one's gonna focus on narrative writing. I'm gonna do a whole series with different ways it can help you with different types of work, but this one's specifically narrative writing. All right, so for this, I took a bit of writing from a student from a couple of years ago. Uh, here's the writing, you can see it right here. And I said, first, just proofread this for me. All right, so that's one great use. You can use it to proofread for you. I'm sure a lot of you, you have parents or siblings or friends, you know, proofreading for you. Well, now you can have somebody do it that's available all the time. And what it did first, it just fixed it for me, all right? And um, as an English teacher, I don't love that, but you know, even, even published professional authors have editors that do this for them. So it's not the worst thing in the world, but as a teacher, I want to encourage you to know what are the mistakes that you made so that you can learn to not make them in the future. So then I asked it what mistakes were corrected and here it is. It tells me uh, the nine different things that it corrected. So I can pay attention to these and know to avoid those same mistakes in the future. Here's the other thing that is really great for it. And that's please give me positive and critical feedback on my writing. All right. And, and, it, and it went ahead and did that. Uh, it told me the writing is easy to follow, good command of grammar, uh, use of details and personal anecdotes to make the writing engaging and relatable. That's good. That's great feedback. That makes me feel good about my own writing. And then the important part here is the critical feedback. Um, and it's telling me that while my writing is generally clear and effective, there are a few areas I can improve transitions between sentences and paragraphs. That's something I teach students year after year after year is using transitional phrases between sentences and paragraphs. Um, it goes on to say why it could do that, all right? Make connections to make the ideas more clear and seamless, and then work on varying your sentence structure and word choice. That's another thing I teach year after year after year is sentence variety. So this thing is telling uh, this student the exact same things that I would have told this student uh, giving this sort of feedback. And while I am, as as this person's teacher available to do that, I'm not available to do that 24 hours a day and again and again and again. All right, so then let's take it a bit deeper too. Uh, I wanted to ask it to give me an idea on how to expand on the story. So let's say I've gotten my initial ideas down, but I'm kind of stuck and I'm like, okay, how do I flesh this out? How do I make this a better piece of writing? And this is where I was really impressed with what it came up with. So. It, it recognized the, the theme of the writing. You know, you could delve deeper into the reasons behind your mother's strict parenting style and how it affected your upbringing. So it's giving me specific things based on the content of my writing, all right? Uh, and again, you could explore how your own childhood or cultural background shaped her views and discipline. This is really good, specific, focused feedback on what this student could do to uh, improve upon and expand upon their story. I wish as a teacher that I could give this depth of feedback daily to each of my students, but I don't have the time to do that. I've got 95 students in the eighth grade. I can give them feedback, but I can't give them feedback every single day, every single class period with this kind of depth. So if they're already coming to me with the feedback they've gotten from chat, then I can take that and I can try to push them even further on it as their teacher. All right. And then here's something else I asked it too. What could I do to add better story structure? So knowing this is narrative writing, I want to focus on the actual structure of a story. And I noticed first that it's giving me your general advice for story structure, an opening hook, developing the conflict, establish the setting, but it's not just doing that. It's also doing that specific to the writing that I prompted here. Okay. 
for example. So for develop the conflict, to create a sense of tension and build up a climax, you should show how the conflict played out in different situations and how it affected your relationship with your mother and your own development. So this is taking this uh, advice for how to create story structure, developing a conflict, but then it's giving it specifically what this writing is about and how it affected their relationship. Again, um, building up to a climax, this could be a specific incident where you and your mother had a particularly emotional reaction. So this is specific to the story. This is fantastic feedback. And I, I encourage my students and I would encourage each of you out here watching this to use ChatGPT and use what it can provide for you in order to make yourself a stronger writer, to make yourself a self-empowered student um, so that you can maximize your own potential, all right? Not to do the work for you, but to guide you and help you to do the work and, uh, in the absolute best way that you can. All right, so this is just one example. I'm gonna be coming out with more. Uh, if this is helpful for you, please like and subscribe and uh, I'll be back with more tips as soon as I can. Thank you and have a good day.